Yo, what's good fellow Team Rocket members? It's Mac and I'm back with another video and today I have got our Season 3 Indigo League of Legends prediction video. I'm going to start doing some content for this league uh, like this and then I'm going to be doing a weekly series with these same people where we pick um, the winner of, of every week, kind of like um, CBS's like in the morning thing for, for the NFL on Sundays. Um, I forget what it's called, the NFL Today or something like that. Kind of like that, where we pick who we think is going to win every week, and we will uh, tally up our score at the end. And if there's a tiebreaker, that tiebreaker is going to go to whoever does the best in this video. In this video, we are going to be choosing who we think is going to win each of the three divisions, um, and who we think are going to be the four wildcard slots. As you can see on the screen, which I haven't made the layout yet, but hopefully it looks cool. Um, as you can see on the screen, I have the north where we have first and second. I have the south where we have first and second. And I have the west or the west where we have first and second. And then there oh, it's are... It's the west. Yeah, the west. Okay. <laughs> and then we have four wildcard slots. But that was me being very long-winded. I am joined by Mini Munch, aka Isaiah. AKA what's up? the co founder of the Indigo League of Legends. He already said what's up, but say hi again. What's up, you guys? <laughs> and then Damn. I am joined with the. the oh, God. I, I, can't even, I can't even think of a. Like, I got to think of some name for you. Um, um, the Corkius of Sir Quags. Yeah, sure. The undefeated the champion of the Indigo the unaware. League. <laughs> the most the unaware. unaware. The most the, unaware. <laughs> the most unaware Quagsire you have ever seen. Sir go. Quags, a.k.a. Lance. Howdy. <laughs> Me and Lance are going to be doing a weekly uh, showdown series as well. So I'm just trying to plug that everywhere I can because those videos yeah, are keep so funny. It. They're just so funny. It. I want people to watch them. They're like better than Hida Fajita. You got to go watch them. <laughs> You got to go watch them. Um, but yeah, so I guess we will start off with our picks for the North. Basically, everyone is going to give us um, who they think their top two are going to be. And then after that, we will discuss um, if there's any dif if, if there's any differing opinions, I guess. We will discuss and stuff. But um, I guess I'll start off with the North because um, I am from Wisconsin. Although, actually, Isaiah's from <laughs> Minnesota, so he's farther north. But, uh, fuck it. I go first. I mean, if All we right. get Brady in here, he's from Canada. <laughs> yeah, true. 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 Um, but, uh, actually, actually, Brady needs to be a guest on one of the weekly ones. Oh, um, for sure. Yeah, for sure. But, yeah, so my number two in the north, the team I think is going to get second in the north is myself. I think I'm going to get second and the main reason I think I'm going to get You're second damn right. is 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 my uh, is my out of conference schedule is very very hard. Um, I I don't feel like uh, I'm able to win probably two or three of my of my out of conference games. I do have to play Necro in week one, and I do have to play Brady in week eight. Um, however, I do have a bye, so that kind of balances it out a little bit. But um, I do think in the at the end of the day, I think I lose the head to head to the person who is in first, and that is Lance. I think I think Lance yeah. will be first in our division. He has the freaking Iowa Hawkeyes schedule. It's bullshit. He plays nobody. <laughs> <laughs> this dude just gets to walk to the national championship for free. This is dumb. So I think I think he is gonna get that. Even I I, I honestly think even if I beat him. Um, if I beat him in our head-to-head, -head, it will not be a wide margin unless he lets me sweep him with Mega Charizard X, which I don't think. Oh, I'll, 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 I'll let you do it. <laughs> so um, even even if I'm able to do that, I still think he wins just because um, I feel like in general Lance won't choke against people he should beat, and I'm notoriously known for pulling a Steve and losing <laughs> to teams that I'm better than. So I. <laughs> think that that's oh. a thing <laughs> i guess the second most northern person now can go uh isaiah you choose your this sucks i'm in the middle <laughs> um honestly i had a similar thing uh i want lance to win it i think he's going to win it i think he's just a stronger uh strong <laughs> I mean, I strong schedule about being arrogant <laughs> yo oh, strong yeah. schedule <laughs> he has a strong schedule and he does not I, have a schedule well, okay. no i meant strong <laughs> schedule for him oh yeah like, okay. he has nothing <laughs> for like, him <laughs> i like i like literally i literally just thought of that iowa hawkeyes analogy as i was reading and i was like that's so perfect he's literally <laughs> the iowa hawkeyes 
Yeah, like he has no one. Um, and then, of course, I do think Mac will uh, take second. Um, I do think he has a very tough road ahead of him, but you know, you're you're not too bad. When you I'm... have the power of Bandit Stoutland, anything's possible. <laughs> Anything is possible that's, with the Bandit that's Stoutland. That's true. That's true. But if I had, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, so I guess with Lance, I see taking the division, and then I see you, Mac, coming in second. Yeah, to be truthful. Very fair. <clears throat> Very fair. And now Lance. Well, damn! I guess great minds think alike because I had the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was the easiest. Like, okay, um, I do think I do think that there is a uh, um, there's a strong possibility that um, Jake. The, the person that is taking over for Jen, I think, I think Jake could very well um, put himself in, in, in the top two. I think, I think he has the potential to beat either one of us. And I think Shiny Marinock is actually I, a very good battler as well. Um, yeah, I could see Shiny stepping up too. Yeah. I mean, he has a hard schedule though. I mean, he yeah. has Johnny, which is good. Uh, he has you, which is good. He has Brady. I mean, he has DRB. Yeah. He has Lance in week nine. So, I mean, and, if he's going to yeah. come up to play, he's going to come up to play and he's going to have to go hard. Yeah. He's, also got, yeah. he's also got a scrub in week three. Yeah. Schedule. <laughs> <laughs> he plays Isaiah week three. But, um, but I do, I. <laughs> I do think as much as we all have one and two, I think anyone, even even Isaiah too. I mean, like Isaiah has his moments of brilliance. I I could I could see him also <laughs> also creeping into the one and two. Except this when is, he misspells everything yeah. in the draft. <laughs> okay, well, Pokemon <laughs> battling is not is not is not yeah, you're spelling. Right, you're right. It is Pokemon battling. Yes. So um so we'll so we'll see what happens. He also has has Talonflame. Talonflame can make things happen. I know my team uh doesn't do shit against Talonflame. I don't know what I'm gonna bring against that. So. Um, he does have Mons, and I do think Isaiah got a very good draft. So it is going to be kind of, kind of interesting, kind of kind of weird to see who ends up winning this. Even though we did all pick the exact same number one and number two. Um, mm -hmm. Now for the South, the South division has um, a replacement for Kanga, who has not been named. It has uh, how do you say that guy's name? W Ram. That's what I just want to say. I want to say W Ram. Uh, uh yeah, just say War W Ram. Ram. I'll say I'll say War Ram. Ram or W Ram, and then it has Brady and Johnny Diesel. Um, Brady is Bishop to Queen Four, and it has Tactical Monkeys. So this is also a very congested um, division, and we also don't know who is taking over Kangas slot yet, and they haven't even drafted a team yet. So that's <laughs> such a wild card, like it's... such a wild card. We have oh. no idea. Um, but uh, for for who you think is going to win this division, I guess I'll start off with Lance for this one since he went last. Well, I have Bree getting first and Johnny getting second. Okay. And I have Johnny getting. I, I played Johnny in the like preseason, and I thought he did. He, his draft is really well, but he plays really straightforward. Yeah. So I think that. Yeah. Brady um, um, will win because Brady's a. Brady's a fantastic battler. If you've ever yeah. battled him, <laughs> dude, he's so underrated too. Like he's he's like oh. he's like low key the goat, and and like nobody knows that he's like that good. So it's it's gonna be really interesting. <laughs> um, and Brady, oh my God, Brady's, oh. like Brady's schedule. If he if 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 Kanga would have stayed in, he would have played. Um, Sketch in his first game, he would have played Kanga, he would have played Johnny, who he just picked, he would have played Shiny Marinock, who we said could easily be second or third, he um, um, he mm -hmm. would have played Andy out of out of conference, Andy, by the time week six comes around, Andy will be playing good, oh. and that will be a great battle, because Andy still has to get back, he has to play me out of out of conference, which I could for sure see him winning, he won last time, but it's still like a tough match, uh, he, he has right. a really tough schedule, but yeah. And then you had Johnny. So um, I guess now we'll go to, to Isaiah. Isaiah, you can say who you think. Um, I'm thinking. I'm thinking honestly. If I look at this, um, I'm gonna have to go with Brady. I mean, Brady's gonna is gonna be Brady's Brady. I mean, I don't know how to explain this kid. He's just too good in this kind of format to not beat everyone that he goes against. I mean, against you. I honestly see him beating you, Mac. Um, you beat me last time. Lance, I can totally see that. <laughs> uh, if you beat me last Lance, time, I, see him, I mean, I could have won. Yeah, or I, was, something. I, I don't know. I, I mean, he is just that good. He's so underrated. No one knows much about him. I didn't get to battle him in our uh, 
in Go Legion's uh, season one. Luckily, thank God. <laughs> but um, he's that good. And uh, I guess for my second choice, I would have to choose Johnny just because he's um, the way he battled Lance was really straightforward. Uh, kind of reminded me of Blue Shell last season. So I hope that he kind of changes the changes it up a little bit because if you guys remember, I mean he could have earthquaked my Ega Slash from season two and would have had that game over and done with. But if Johnny plays the same way that Blue Shell does, straightforward, he's not going to get anywhere. But then again, Johnny is a different person, and he gave, got a good draft. Give, yeah, he's got a huge draft. He's got a good battle against Lance that gets his confidence up. I mean, he's he's new to the league format, so I give it to him for that. But I think he he's a smart player. He's very smart. Yeah, yeah. Um it's actually crazy. We're like almost going to agree again, like all three of us, <laughs> almost. Um, however, I actually have them flip flopped. Simply, oh. Ooh. simply. Ooh. Brady's um, not going to be happy about that one. This is right, right. <laughs> no, so, so. This is this is this is my only reasoning for this, and it's it's like super hard to actually, um, to actually differentiate between the two i think brady has an easier schedule however i think when they play head to head i think johnny diesel wins the reasoning for me thinking johnny diesel wins when they play head to head is okay brady is gonna have his like thunderous he's gonna have his like polytoad he likes to run water he has a very he has a very rain um s centered team johnny mm -hmm. has manaphy that oh. and then mm -hmm. Not only having Manaphy, but he has Darmanitan, which is going to completely check the Thunderous Eye and the Bisharp. So having those, and as well as Mega Absol, does a ton, a ton to Brady's team. Because it beats the Dewblade. It beats, like, it beats every one of his walls. It beats, it beats Gudra, because it gets, it gets play rough. It has knockoff. It it like it literally does, it, get, it gets grass knock. Goodbye, Mega Swampert. It like, it, it like, it... <laughs> Like literally, I feel like Johnny wins the head to head simply because of the fact that he wins <clears throat> like a team, team preview. He Better wins team a team value. preview. Um it's 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 so hard though, because I honestly think that Brady has a lot easier of a schedule. Um even though they both have very hard schedules. If you look at Johnny's uh Johnny's out of conference games are Shiny Marinock, it's uh Necro Stevo. He has to play um Master Roshi. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be rough. It's going to be really interesting to see who wins this. And then we don't even know who's going to take Kanga's slot. But um, we pretty much have the same thing. I could I could easily, easily see Brady taking um, taking first place. I could easily see Brady beating. However, if I'm just looking at their teams head-to-head, -head, because that's how close I felt this was, I think Johnny wins. Um, I, I, I feel like Manaphy just like completely bodies Brady's team. Like Brady has no check for Manaphy. Um, so it'll, it'll be, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. But, um, so that was our thoughts on the South division. I think everyone had Johnny or Brady in top two. Yeah. Um, we'll yeah. move on to the West. The West is my favorite division in this damn league. <laughs> this, this division is Why so hype. Why couldn't you put me in the West? Oh. The West oh. is so hype, dude. It has everybody. Okay. The West has, all right, I'm just going to go over is, The West is a wild card. The West oh, has, geez. all right. If we all agree on who's gonna win the Weast, I think we'll all agree on who on like who we think is gonna get number one. But if we yeah. agree on the second one, it's gonna be weird. All right, so the Weast has <laughs> Necro Stevo, who is a seasoned battler. He's be, both seasons he's been in the Indigo League of Legends. He's gotten second place. This man knows how to battle, and in the in 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 the great words of Ricky Bobby, "If you ain't first, you're last." That means nothing. <laughs> He is so good. He just barely loses every year. He lost to me the first season, and he lost to um, U-Turn this last season. But that means nothing. He is such a good battler. He's done good in every single league that he has been in. And above all else, he is a great person. So it's like you don't even want to root against him. He's just, he's just an awesome person. Then we have Andy, Will Drew Q. This man used to be a powerhouse 
before he sold his 3DS yeah, and went. The key word is used, and then he, he became be. a huge weeaboo. Yeah, he he used <laughs> to be Pokemon. he used to be such a good battler back in the day. He used to give me the hands all the time. Um, and then now he's come back. He he hasn't been playing as good so far, but he's also been dealing with finals and school and everything. So as soon as he gets acclimated to this league, as soon as he starts learning Pokemon again, I feel like he could roll his way and be very, very strong towards the end of the season. If he's able to get a couple wins early on in the season... That's just going to help him out more. That's, that's oh, going to yes. help him so much because he's, he's going to be so much better at the end of the season than he is at the beginning. Then we have Sketchy Smeargle who is a self-renowned lord of everything. And <laughs> he's also a good battler. So we have sketched it. And then we have DRB, who I have personally battled in the preseason. Um, go watch that video. Plug. Uh-uh, plug. Um, and he's also a really good battler. He's very strong. He knows what he's talking about. He's, he's, he's been in other league formats before. He knows how it goes. And he has a strong draft. And then we have Master Yoshi, who has a godly draft. And is also a good battler. If you look at Roshi's team, it's completely so stupid. So it's com it's, it's completely a pretty, stupid. Oh, pretty so solid this draft. least this least division is going to be so cool to see who wins this. I have no idea, honestly. Oh, I, have, I have I have I have I have my pick, obviously, but I have right. no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. So I guess I guess for this one, we will start off with uh, I guess Necro. I mean, sorry, not Necro. <laughs> Necro. I, was, I, was, I was like looking at the thing. You read sorry. the first round pick there, boy? <laughs> we will start off with uh, uh, fucking Isaiah because I saw the first right. one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, obviously, obviously got to pick Necro. I mean, Necro's a lord. I've said this many times in my videos. He's a lord in this format. Um, he's been in the, what is it, PPL. He's been in the PBL. He's been in uh, the Indigo League of Legends 1 and 2. He's been in the NFL. He's been he's got, basically he's this dude's been in every house. league. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure uh, FIFA has been trying to ring him yeah. up, but um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I see him. I honestly, I see him making it to the finals again this year. I mean, he's just that good. Um, that's gonna be my number one. Now, <laughs> for my second one, I am kind of up in the air, but. If I'm going to be 100% truthful with myself, because I have battled this person, uh, whether it was just for fun or whatever, um, not during the preseason, but just a random battle, I see Andy beating everyone else. Yo! I see, yo, Andy, I see Andy go. as number two. I, I see, see Andy you. As, <laughs> I see Andy as number two. Um, I am, I'm hoping week one I can catch him. Catch him when he's at his weakest point. Yeah, and... yeah. You, you literally, you literally get Andy at the perfect time because he is like just week, coming week off of six, he's seven, he's eight, just nine, coming good. off of, of like finals week, so he's right. not even going to be able to team prep that much. And right. then you're, <laughs> so I, I mean that's that's the thing is like, I'm hoping to catch him because he is that good. I mean, yes, he does have Lance after me, which is scary. And then he has Necro. Week was that four? So yeah. I'm, in, yeah, I'm just glad uh, I get him early. Oh, man. Dude, I, 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 have, by, I, have, I have a that's feeling. That's going to be the game of the week. I would put money on it. Necro versus Andy week four. Have my freaking boat locked right now. That's going to be the one to watch. <laughs> I, th I think I think it's more so Andy versus Brady. And then I think by the time week nine comes around, when Andy has to fight DRB, I think they'll be fighting for a playoff spot. And I think Andy just molly whops him that week. <laughs> oh, I, yeah. I, I really feel like if Andy just – he just has to win a couple of his first four. He has to win like – I feel like if he takes two of his first four games – then he will make the playoffs in 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 some capacity. I just, I honestly see him uh, pulling out a win against uh, Lance, just because whoa. like ju just just because <laughs> just because like I think Lance, you're gonna over predict him or not over predict him, um, under predict him, and you're gonna think that oh you know he's coming off. You know, he's not that good. He's still getting back into it. You, and you're gonna you you're gonna make one mistake, you're gonna make one mistake and it's gonna cost you the game. You gotta that's, gonna, honestly, I, that's, I, that's exactly how it goes. I'm gonna laugh so hard. I used to stream think, with this kid daily. I watched him battle. Yeah, yeah. I I think they I think the only people that won't lose to Andy this whole year, like one hundred percent are me and Lance because we know this man. <laughs> like we team build with this man all the time. We know what he does. Right. Just right. run taunt on every one of your Pokemon. You win the yeah, game. Yeah, run taunt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. Well, that's that's who I think um, is gonna is gonna take it though. Necro and then Andy. That's some that's some good picks. That's some good picks. Oh. Um, I'll do mine. Um, I also have Necro at one. Um, I honestly feel like uh, Necro has a stronger draft this year than he has in the past, and that's really saying something because this dude really really knows how to um, draft. And and honestly, this draft is very, very similar to his draft in Indigo Legends Season 1. He had Venusaur in that one, and he also had Togekiss in that one, and he also oh. had Crawdont in that yeah, one. Yeah, but which so scary. Season 2, I took Venusaur, so... Yeah, but in but True, in season Venusaur, one, in season Venusaur's one, Venusaur's a little lowered. Yeah, yeah. Um, Venusaur mm-hmm. in a league format is crazy good. Togekiss in a league format is crazy good. He has Crawdon. He has Charizard Y. He has oh, Fortress. Jesus. He has Dragalge. He has Embor, which is probably like the best or one of the best Ru and Belomons in this in this um in this style format because of the the type coverage that it gets. Like, it's just so so good. And, and don't then, forget Fortress, man. That yeah, thing is scary. Like, like he could set up anything. I mean, he actually did that to me in my uh, preseason match I just had with him. Uh, he set up so much stuff that was – and I don't have a defogger right now. So he just oh, knows shit. exactly how to read your team and be like, oh, well, this is what he's going to do. This is what's going to happen, and this is how I'm going to beat him. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, he, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, um, I he has he has his drag out. He has Rhyperior. He's got regular Rotom, which, oh. which like regular Rotom is oh also God. very very Disgusting. underrated. Disgusting. Um, if you saw, um, if you saw EXP and you actually, the Mon that got the fourth most kills the whole season was regular Rotom. Regular, yeah. Regular it's Rotom. It's it's, good. it's it's. I mean, it has the same stats as all the other Rotoms. The only actually, thing it's the only one that has different stats. I think. Oh, does it really? I thought it had all the same. Anyways, he also has Mega Agron or like Agron. Mm. So he just has a ton of things that he can use at his disposal, <laughs> and it's just extremely, extremely scary. Mm-hmm. Um, for my second. I actually believe that this guy's team is honestly better than Necro's team. However, I think that Necro is the better battler and he will win. Even though this team, like if you look at team preview, he gets completely bopped. Um, I honestly feel like Master Roshi <laughs> is gonna Ooh. be second. Now, wow. let me, now let me let me just let me just let me just tell you a couple of the Pokemon on his team. Clefable, Sableye. Mamoswine, Rotom Heat, Latias, Lando T, Golbat, Heracross, <laughs> Grapion, like Rampardos, Ditto, oh. Blastoise. Why he has everything. Blastoise? This dude oh. has everything. It's so good. Like, it's so oh. scary. Honestly, um. Why do we let him draft? And he, he has, has, has Xploud. He has Xploud too. <laughs> he has everything. This, like, it's, it's so good. That draft, I, I don't know how, like, I feel like my team matches up extremely well versus his, so I think I would be confident versus him, mainly because Charizard X kind of beats out Mega Sableye very badly, and he has no real checks for Charizard X. But his team and Necro's team, Necro doesn't really have anything for him. Like, it's 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 going to be extremely rough. Um it, it's, I don't know. I don't know. The only thing that he really has on his team is Venusaur. I think I think Venusaur puts in a lot of work versus his team, but he has Heracross. So mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. we'll see what happens there. But I do have Master Roshi as my number two in that league. I feel like Andy is not going to be able to um, – I feel like he won't gain enough momentum. Um, and he it'll, – it'll be too late by the time that he um, starts to really be playing like Gets the Andy gooder. old. <laughs> and um yeah it'll be too late before he gets good and uh um i don't know i just i feel like it'll be too late for him to be number one or number two in the division however i think he still could possibly make the playoffs as a wild card but um we'll see we'll see but yeah so lance you can you can go now i got and just same as everybody else i got necro as my top <laughs> pick because his draft was great probably the best one of the best drafts in here and then he's got Pretty good schedule, I think. Week one's pretty easy for him. He plays me week one, you butt. <laughs> and then uh, my second pick was actually different than your guys' for once. I got DRB oh. as my second pick for the same reason. He's got great draft. Uh, I'm not sure if it's as good as Masters, but it's 
it's still a very good draft. He's got Slowbro, Weavile, Raikou, Victini, Crobat, Tangrowth, Cobalion, all of these walls and everything else that I really don't want to face. Like Dusclops, I don't want to face Dusclops. That just sounds terrible. <laughs> do I even face him? I didn't actually look. Well, um, I think I do. I do not. Actually, I do okay. not. Oh, I, I do, do not. not, so that's good. <laughs> So put um, your fingers on that one. Yeah. But I feel like he's got a strong draft, and I feel like he's the better player than Master is, which is why he'll beat Master. See, I, I totally agree with that in that aspect, but if we're looking at you know DRB and Master's draft alone, it's going to be interesting, period, but they're, they're actually going against each other week one. So... Whoever wins well, that one right off the bat, I mean, I honestly be see. Number two spot I, is I whoever honestly, wins that. Yeah, I honestly see Master pulling it out. You know, I have to agree with Mac on that one. Just because DRB, just I don't see. I don't see what you see in him. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I feel like he'll get the number two spot. It's whoever wins that week one match. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. That's Wait, the main who'd thing. you who'd you pick as as your week two? I I had to go because my cookies were coming out of the oven. Oh. DRB. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, fine. yeah. I um, um, I definitely could agree with that. Yeah, I think I think he's he's really good. All right, <clears throat> and then are we going to wild cards then? Yeah, um, we'll, we'll uh, head on to our wild card picks. The way that wild card works in the Indigo League of Legends is the top four teams record wise that um aren't the top two in each division will be eligible for the wild card and the best of the wild card will face off against the worst and then the second and third and then whichever one of those two wins will get into the eight-man playoff bracket that is the indigo league of legends playoffs so um we can start anywhere from one to four um i i guess uh i, I guess we will all go I, I guess we'll all say our first wild card um like who we think the the best player that didn't Get in is, and then we'll all say second, and then third, and then fourth. Okay, is that good? Yep. Um, yeah. We will start off with our number one wild card, who we think the best player in the Indigo League of Legends that was not a uh, a conference champion or sub champion, I guess, or whatever. Um, <laughs> mine is DRB. Um, I, I definitely think that DRB is a very good battler. He has a very good draft. All the points that Lance just made. Um, I think that uh, he has a pretty respectable schedule. I feel like he can uh, he can make a lot of plays there, but I also feel like he could low key lose one, two, three, four, five, six games. Um, I feel like he could go three and six, and at the same time he could go eight and one. So this guy has like uh, he has he has the world at his at his fingertips, and we will see how he plays and how he re reacts and everything. But I feel like he's the best player that isn't in already in my in my six. I feel like he's he's the best. Uh, Isaiah, you can you can Okay, um I actually am gonna choose his week one opponent. I'm gonna choose Master Roshi. I think uh, I think he's I think honestly DRB is gonna lose to Master Roshi week one. Um, and then he's gonna catch Andy still weak. And then he's going to bop Sketchy. Uh, I think he's going to end up losing to Johnny and Necro, and that's going to be a real test for him to see if he can bounce back against Monkey. Uh, Monkey's and Then he has Lance and Jake at the end. So, I mean, he's kind of got a hard schedule, but I do see him beating DRB. And I see him at least, you know, if not tying with DRB, with not only records, but I think differential too. If I'm going to be completely honest with you, um, and then I see him, you know, of course taking that spot away from DRB with the week one uh, win over him. So, I, I I say Master Roshi. Yeah, I could definitely see that, Lance. I got actually Jake as my first wild card slot. Not bad. bad. Well, because his draft was disgusting. Well, I was actually Jin's draft, but it was disgusting either way. It's just. It's a very solid draft. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. It is. It is really, really good. Um, my second, <clears throat> my second is, I believe, uh, Shiny Marinock. 
actually will be the second. I've um I've watched I've watched a couple of his of his battle videos from other leagues and he's not great, but he knows what he's doing and um I feel like I feel like he could he could definitely make some plays and he doesn't have the hardest uh schedule out of conference um he has two really tough out of conference games but besides that it's kind of weak he plays drb and um and brady out of conference his other two out of conference is one a buy um and two um, um and two technical monkeys um i feel like he could potentially win both of those and also johnny yeah, he also he also plays Johnny. I feel like I feel like he could he could win any of those three. Um besides besides the D I mean I mean I feel like he could even win the DRB match to be completely honest. Um that's gonna be a match in week eight to really look out for because both of those teams are gonna be really in the hunt for a wild card and uh that match will really, really matter. So um I've got I've got him there. I also think he had a pretty good draft in general. Um I do think that Shiny had um a pretty good draft. He got the draft at the bottom, so he's able to draft a lot of things that really help each other, um, which is why he was able to get Titar and Garchomp. He was also able to get Starmie and Conkelder. Um, and he has some really good UU picks with Tentacruel, um, Roserade, and uh, um, and Crocodile, so, um, as well as Melodic. So I feel like he can do a lot of things. He has a pretty decent draft. Um, he doesn't have... Um, he doesn't have a very... Um, I feel like the thing that will keep him down in this league is that his team is very one-dimensional. He doesn't have many things he can throw at you where you're like, wow, I didn't see that coming. Like, Titar kind of has some good coverage moves, but but besides that, he really has a very straight very straight um, forward team with his OUs and UUs. So, although they're good, I feel like you can also team plan for them. So, we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Um, Isaiah? Um, I honestly, uh, I know that I'm going to, uh, regret this. I'm thinking a little bit and it's not because I don't think he's a good battler. I just think that he is, uh, one dimensional, like you've said. Um, but he, DRB, I think DRB is going to get, I think he's going to lose. He has a hard schedule first off. I think he's going to lose to Roshi. I think he's going to lose to Necro. And down in the dumps, I think he's going to end up losing to Sketchy, too. So, And then he has Jake, which if Lance says he's good, and I've well, seen... That was Mac. Yeah, oh. I, I've, I've, I've seen him battle. He's, well, I mean, he's, I said he was good because he's a wild card in mine, but... Yeah, right, yeah. right. But I mean, you know, you guys are really picky on who you guys think is good. So I would have to say, you know, DRB would have to be my second choice just because he, to me, I think he can pull it off, but it's going to be really hard for him to do it. And I, I I hope he can because he's a really nice guy and he has a scary draft, but <clears throat> I just, let's, let's just hope that he can, he can do it. I mean, I, I believe in the guy. I really do. So I would I have think, to go DRB. Yeah. Yeah. I would, I, I mean, I have to agree with you. Um, He's he's my first um, wild card. Uh, Lance, Lance. I've actually got Master as my second wild card again. Yeah, he's yeah. got a disgustingly good draft. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He is, his draft is so good. Um, um, I think, I think so far, we all have the same that are in the playoffs, except for I have Shiny Marinock and you guys don't. Right. So far, I think. Yeah. I think besides that, everything is 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 the same. Um, I don't. I don't have Andy, and you guys have those. So. Oh yeah, the world does. Right. But um, and then and then for my third, I have Jake, the person taking over Jen's team. Um, I saw him battle versus DRB, and the team that he brought to that battle was very very strong. Uh, I feel like he can do some, some things. I feel like the fact that nobody has really seen him battle is gonna play to his strengths because people aren't able to really prepare for him, especially early on in the season. Um, I do not, <laughs> I do not, um, I do not envy the position that Monkeys and Isaiah are in of having to play him week one and two because you guys are gonna be like the what test. The hell is he doing? <laughs> you guys, yeah, you guys are gonna be like um, the testing guinea pigs, if you will. We're gonna find out how good he is there, and then the great thing for me is I get to see him battle you guys, and then he has a bye, and then I get to play him. So I, mean, I get to play him two weeks after that. Yeah, yeah. Right, so, right. So, you guys get him when he's. 
<laughs> yeah. yeah, we get him when yeah. we actually have him scouted. Yeah, yeah. right. True. Um, um, I I feel like he's gonna for sure win his 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 first. Um, I feel like he might win against Isaiah. We'll see. I I would probably give him that win, but we'll see. Just because it's like early on in the season, you have no idea. He has a really good draft. It's gonna be weird. We'll see. Right. But um, um, I've got I have I have him as my third. I think I think it's kind of like self explanatory. Everyone else already had him in, so it's just it's kind of the same points everyone else said. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Isaiah. Yep. Um, I'm thinking honestly, if I'm gonna be 100 percent truthful here, <clears throat> I battled Shiny. And he was good. <laughs> yeah, he, he is. <laughs> he, was, he, he was good. <laughs> and so I would have to go with him. Uh, he does have Johnny right off the bat, which is going to be hard. He's going to have – first two weeks are going to be hard for him. Um, against me, it's going to be up in the air because I kind of figured out what he does. And um, I, think, I think I might be able to get him. But he, that, that, That's true, but it does go both ways. Yeah. yeah, it goes both ways, definitely. Uh, tacticals, I think he's going to beat uh, Monkeys. I really do. Uh, Brady? <laughs> I like how everybody just has Monkeys getting destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like, I don't know. It's, it's like, it's, um, um, I think it's a combination of we've seen these other people battle, so we know how good right. they are, and we haven't right. seen Monkeys battle, so yeah, we don't know right. how good he is. That's exactly so it. So it's, it's and, like, and yeah. He's got Brady at the end, and then he has a buy, and then it's going to go into Jake. He's got DRB and then Lance. I mean, he's going to have a hard schedule, but I can see him pulling out a win against Johnny just to, you know, I think that's going to be the only loss Johnny will have, to be truthful with you, besides, uh, does he battle Necro? Yeah, he does. No, 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 no he doesn't. No, he doesn't. So, um, Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. He battles Necro oh, last week of the season. Okay. So maybe Johnny will have two losses, but... Um, I see Shiny just coming out of nowhere, taking him out. Um, I think Mac's going to underpredict him or uh, underestimate him, should I say. And I could see him pulling off a win. Me and him, I mean, he, he beat me in the preseason, and he's very good. And so we'll, we'll have to go back and forth on that. Um, we'll see. I don't think I'm going to oh beat the him. Second, the I, second half I'm, of his schedule looks... Like, oh, atrocious. it's scary! It's so scary! It's so yeah, scary! So yeah. like the worst but, part. Yeah, yeah. He, but yeah, I see like, him. I, I see the... him beating Johnny. I see him beating Johnny just because Johnny is too too. Um, I want. I don't want to say arrogant, but I think he only drafted twelve months. Okay, so he's not even worried. He's like, oh shit, you know, I don't even need the other three to to mix up my team. So to me, I think Shiny's gonna be like, all right, well. I just have to plan for 12, which is either way fine, but you know what he's going to bring. And so I think Shiny is going to be able to pick him apart and end up winning, whether it be by one poke or by all six. I don't think it's going to be a sweep, but I, th I see him beating, by beating him by two. So I, I would have to go Shiny. Yeah, um, um, I, I want to I wanna put something in right here. I feel like um, Shiny is going to be favored to win two matches all year <laughs> like that is it i feel like he's only gonna be maybe favored against maybe isaiah because he's already beaten him in the preseason and right. then maybe technical depending on how good monkeys is doing for the first um uh three weeks of the season depending on right. what well i mean like, he does get the buy so that's a free win. yeah yeah he, he does get a buy but i feel like he's only favored in two so if he wins versus isaiah and he wins versus monkeys he gets his buy, so that's three wins. I feel like he's he needs to win one or two, probably two. He needs to win probably two games mm -hmm. um, versus Johnny, me, um, Jake, DRB, Lance, and Brady. And that's the other thing is that I honestly could see Shiny beating DRB. Yes, uh, I I think I, I think his that. I think his like two wins if he's going to get them will be either. Him catching Brady on a bad day, um, yep. DRB for sure, um, yep. because I think I think Brady. Let me look at Brady's schedule. Yeah, I feel like I feel like Brady. Um, um, he he fights Brady in a tough part of uh, Brady's schedule because he has Johnny and then Shiny and then Andy, mm -hmm. um, and then after Andy he has me. So I feel like he might be overlooking Shiny a little bit as his easy match during that right. time, and that yep. could very well be. But again, all I only feel like he has to win one, maybe two of those games that he's um, that he's favored in to make the playoffs, which is why I think 
that he gets it's in. Gonna, it's going to really come down to the differential, too. Yeah. I mean, if it's going to really come down to that. Yeah. And, I mean, if he beats Johnny and, you know, Brady loses to Johnny and, you know, I mean, it's really a toss-up in the air yeah. with that. <laughs> it is. I mean, it's so scary to think. Is. That's, 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 that's a what's wild so exciting. card. <laughs> that's what's so exciting. That's what's so fun it about is. this league is it's, it's, so, it's, it's so close. You never know, like, what's going to happen. And that's what's going to be so fun to watch this season. Um, mm mm-hmm. Your your turn now. Your turn now, Lance. Well, uh, I actually have Andy as my third wild card, just because I think he will get some momentum going towards the end of the season, like we've mentioned before, where he gets the last part of his season and he starts to get more wins. But he's, he'll probably lose the first three or four weeks. I uh, probably four. Yeah. I'd say he loses yeah. first four weeks and then he gets his ball rolling and he beats the last five. Yeah, I think I think yeah. there's a chance for him to maybe. Um, to maybe win against uh like i do think i think um i think isaiah will beat him but i think that he'll beat one of you three in the next three weeks and he has such a hard schedule he has he, he has does. a he has a five week period let me let me just let me just lay this five week <laughs> period on, on you guys who the <laughs> fuck wants this five week period he has lance he has master roshi he has necro he has jake and then he has brady in well, this a row is, this is all in what the a part stretch. this right. is all in the part where he's still trying to get back into it. yes this is right. when he's trying to learn pokemon again um, but but you know what's you know what's going to be great is if is if he's able to beat isaiah if he's able to beat Sketch after that set, if he's able to beat Monkeys, um, that's that's his three wins. I feel like he only needs three or four to be able to make it out. Um, yeah. He will have that match versus DRB at at the end of the season to choose um, to basically choose his own his own destiny. And I feel yeah. since he's already played all you guys already in the season, he yeah. will come back in the playoffs with a vengeance. Oh yeah. And, well, and he's gonna and, burn some fire. <laughs> and it's he will be. be nasty. That's what's so exciting about it about Andy this season is I know he's probably sitting at home like laughing at this video being like they're giving me way too much credit but I really <laughs> don't think we are I really think that if he makes it to the playoffs if he doesn't dick around enough and makes the playoffs he can do some things there and it's oh, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be really exciting to see what he does there may I say that he might even knock Necro off that would that would uh could I could I could I say that he, he, I he mean could. He oh could. I could say that though I I could say that I mean, I mean. you can say anything technically <laughs> but I I I could see Andy just coming up and Necro well Necro doesn't underestimate anyone yeah, so I can't really say that <laughs> but I could see him pulling something and beating Necro I mean if, Necro if he is makes the king. it to the playoff <laughs> Necro the is playoffs. the king of oh. like being better he's, than someone and showing them that he's better. He's not like he's not he's like I'm Patriots. better than you, so I don't care. <laughs> yes, ex- exactly. He's like he's like Bill Belichick. He's like yes. we're Does supposed to win, <laughs> and there's a reason we're supposed to win, and we're gonna win. Like exactly. I, I, I don't I don't I I hardly ever see him getting like upset. I feel like the only time that he's ever been upset in all of the Indigo League of Legends is That's when he keeps losing to you. No, yeah. no. I, yeah. And I I feel like I feel like we're even <laughs> enough where. I mean, I don't think he should have lost to me both times, but I feel like we're even enough where, like, if he loses to me, it's not, like, that crazy of an upset. But I feel like the only two losses he he's ever had that I felt like, why the hell did you lose, is against Blue Shell last oh, season. Oh, shit. Why yeah. did he lose to Blue Shell? I didn't watch the battle, so I have no idea. And then <laughs> he also lost to um, to U-Turn in the playoffs, in in, oh. in the championship. Why would he lose to U-Turn in the championship? I, I, don't, I don't get that either, but... um. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, really, really interesting stuff right there. Um, I'll mm. go for my fourth. My fourth is actually, um, I, have, I have a scenario for my fourth, actually. Um, my fourth isn't just one player. My fourth is two players that I feel like the winner of a certain match will determine who gets in. <laughs> and the winner of that certain match is a week one match. Is a week one match. And I think whoever wins this week one match gets their shot at glory in the playoffs and that match is isaiah versus andy (laughs) i feel like whoever wins week one a ton of pressure is on this game mainly mainly for andy i feel like he hasn't played in forever yeah um right but like i feel like the main reason that andy has so much pressure on him is because um jen i mean sorry 
I was I was I was like looking at the schedule. Isaiah has a weaker schedule than Andy does. Isaiah has room towards the end of the season. Um, Isaiah could possibly win versus Shiny. He could he could possibly win versus the replacement for Kanga. He has a bye. He plays W Ram in in the last week of the season. Um, if he loses to Andy, all is not lost. He he could still potentially beat Jake. He could still potentially like he has he has games that he can win. He has games that he can win. Andy does not. Andy, That's true. <laughs> Andy has Isaiah. And Andy has and Andy has maybe monkeys and maybe DRB, depending, just just solely depending on how they're playing. We haven't seen obviously I haven't seen monkeys or or W Ram, so we don't know. Or sketchy. I mean, um, I've 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 already seen sketchy, but like oh yeah, we don't we don't know. Andy Andy could 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 very well have um, a really really tough time. And uh, um, uh, I, I, I feel like the winner of that week one match will not only have the tiebreaker at the end of the season, it'll also give them momentum for the rest of the season. And starting off week one, week one is so important, which is why it sucks to have to fight Necro week one, because week <laughs> one determines your fate for the rest of the season. And I don't want my fate to be against a vengeful, spiteful, hateful <laughs> Necro that only wants to six o me. <laughs> so this is going to suck. But uh, that, was, that was just me going back to my own schedule, my own problems. Um, I, I, I feel like the winner of Andy Isaiah gets the fourth spot in the wild card for me. I feel like the, um, the fourth through we do have 15 teams or 14 teams as of right now because no one's taken over king spot i do feel like the bottom five are going to be so close oh so so close. so close and that's why i think i could that's why there was no way for me to put one person i felt like it had to come down to one specific game and mm -hmm. i think that's the one specific game i also feel like it could come down to drb versus andy i feel like that could also be the tiebreaker at the end of the year mm -hmm. um but i feel like andy is in the run at the very end and we'll see what happens. Um, I feel like I feel like it'd be a blessing for everyone in the world um, for Andy to not make it. But I also feel like it'd be so hype for the viewers to see Andy make it, um, and and then the return. And like, if I had to fight Andy week one of the of the fucking postseason, I would just forfeit because I don't want to get embarrassed. Like, <laughs> I don't I don't, don't want to see him there. Yeah, you're right. Uh, but it's, it's he's gonna... the one who basically taught me competitive battling. So. Yeah, I, I know, I know. Like same, pretty much same. Like it, it, that's the terrifying thing about this. But Man, uh, the pressure is yeah, odd. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I that's why I run all of the walls. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, you go, Isaiah. Um, honestly, I would have to agree with you. Uh, but I think. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to choose myself. And the reason why I'm doing this, and the, this is the flat-out reason. Because you're arrogant? Because you're arrogant as fuck. <laughs> because you're no. blinded by, I don't know, you're blinded by something. <laughs> no, I can, I think I can beat Andy. I honestly do. Um, the Jake, I never saw him battle. I know I could beat Shiny. And I know I could beat Necro. I know I can. Uh, Lance, we... Um, I honestly feel like I could beat you. Like, there's no one in my schedule that I feel like I cannot beat. Mac, I 6 owed you. I mean, <sighs> yes, it was the preseason. Yes, it was the preseason. But, or not the preseason, but it was a, a battle with our own teams. But um, I feel very confident, really, to be honest with you, uh, with my draft. I mean, I... Talonflame, uh, Gardevoir. I mean, just, come on. Do I? And then oh, I got yeah, that reminds me. Zam's still I got on the Kress. block. If you want to <laughs> trade me for Talonflame, I'm good. Thanks, though. It's a, it's a the, fair trade. The only and thing, I, the only thing about you is, I feel like, in, I feel like in Andy's thing, he only has to improve on like. Well, no, I can't even really say that. I feel like Andy has been at this point where he's very good. I feel like you are almost to that point where you're good. And it's just like, is he able to get back to that very good before you make your step? Or do you right. make your step first? First. It's, yes. it, and that's yeah. and that's the thing. And that's the thing I was gonna say is like I feel like I'm gonna catch Andy. That's the that's that's what I need. I need to catch Andy, get a first get off to a great start, and then you know, maybe shock some shock some heads. You know, maybe people will be like, "Oh, okay, all right, Isaiah, you're you're playing well." Yeah. And then I'm gonna bop uh, Jake. I haven't seen him battle, but I mean, um, <laughs> I've seen DRB battle, and if he if DRB beat him, 
Um, I'm not scared of DRB's team. I'm not scared of anyone's team, really. Uh, Necro, I'm going to I'm gonna tear up that Venusaur. I am going to tear it up. Um, Mac, uh, like I said, you know, unless you do some serious moves, um, I feel like I'm going to be able to beat you. Um, I'm probably not going to set up as much as I did when we were playing, but... Um, Why would you give away that information? It's confidential. <laughs> oh, hey, don't worry about it. I, everything I say is for a plan. But, um... No, if now I would be 100%... All, the set of ones. <laughs> all, all of them and all my walls. <laughs> but, um... No, there I is just... no walls for Charizard X. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's true. That's, that's, that's hilarious. True. There is that's no walls. True. If I get a Dragon Dance up, the game is over. GG. <laughs> that's true. Um, but... If I'm going to be honest, I mean, I do have a weak kind of schedule. I mean, I I could see me starting off the season, honestly, with a 3-0 start. And then I'm going to battle Lance and probably lose that. And then battle Necro, which I swear on my life, you hear it right now, I swear on my life, I am not going to let Necro beat me. I, I'm so sick of losing to him. I lost to him today, actually, in the preseason match we had. Um... I'm not going to fucking lose to that dude. I'm so sick of it. So, um, I mean, yeah, Necro go... will probably be my one loss this season. Mm-hmm. And see, that's the thing, is that I, I don't, I don't want to say that I'm going to lose, but I want to say that you know, Necro is going to be that factor where if, if, I, if I can beat Necro, I know that I'll beat Mac because I'll have the confidence coming off of Necro to beat uh to beat Mac. So, so um that's just why I'm going off of it. Um that's just how I feel. Now then again, I've never beat Mac in an actual Indigo League of Legends. I mean, I've I can't even say I've gotten close, but I do have a grudge against you just because you are who you are. <laughs> you've you've beaten me a solid like <laughs> <laughs> you beat me a solid like three to five times outside of Indigo League of Legends, and it's it's not like we battle like daily, like we don't battle that right. much, but right. you beat me like a solid three to five times outside of the Indigo League of Legends, and like the first time you beat me, I didn't count that shit because I missed like <laughs> five attacks, and I remember you paralyzed me, and then you uploaded the video to YouTube like you had done something, like when the game beat me, and I was like okay, oh. all right, but then like. I think we've played maybe like 10 to like 15 matches in, in, in like non preseason, just messing with our teams. And right. I think you've won like three to five of those. So, right. um, I mean, it's, it's, it's a thing. Like, it's right up in the air. So, I my mean. one thing with you, and this is going to be completely honest, my one problem with, um, with you later on in the season, I feel like it won't be so much of a problem early on in the season because. Um, you're fighting other people with probably the exact same problem. Your team building has never been the greatest as far as counter teaming people. Andy has never been in a league format. So right. week one, he'll be learning team building. Jake, never been in a league format. So he will be learning the art of team building. Shiny, right. ha Shiny has the art of team building. However, your team has a good matchup versus his. So we'll see what happens there. But I don't feel like... And then I'm just a lord at team building, right? I don't feel like, I don't feel like you. I mean, that is true. You're actually very good at team building. That's why you were on the Rustboro City Stoners team for a while. Um, but I feel like the only um, the only reason you don't win ever versus Lance, Necro, or me in this season, like I don't feel like there's any way you win, is because of your team building. The one time you had your big win last season, I team built it for you. Right. Right. So um, I, I I have and, to give it to you. you did. <laughs> And, and like and like I feel I I feel like you have the ability to do it. I just feel like you haven't gotten it yet. That doesn't mean that this season it's not gonna happen. Um it just it means that you haven't shown it yet. So we'll see what right. happens. That's why I say that you're in the running for that fourth spot is because I feel like right. number one, you do have a good schedule. It's not easy, but you get a buy and you get like three matches that you should win. Right. So right. um and exactly. like with a buy and three matches you should win. If you win two of those and get the bye, that's three wins, and that's probably the last spot in the playoffs. Probably. So yeah. we'll see. We'll see. And then I'll happens. either have Necro or freaking King uh not King uh, Lance <laughs> in the playoffs. Yeah. I mean, see, see, but that's see, that's why scary. that's why you need to win more so you don't have to face them week one in, in the playoffs. You just That's true. You just you really I th like I think I think the main problem is 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 like recently you haven't been making that many bad plays i feel like 
it's not been that much playing as it's been team building. And I think if you can improve your team building and and like and like have a plan for every battle that isn't super convoluted. You don't need some like super gimmick strategy to win. You just need to know what mons on your team do work and then like what mons on their that. team stop them and how to beat the mons that stop it on, on their team and then like go for it. Get, it, it goes back. It gets it gets really in depth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. But like yeah. I feel like that's the only thing like holding you back from getting that fourth spot if you weren't to get it is your team building. Is yeah. that's that's what it'll be. And we'll find out. We'll find out. Yeah. Um Lance, Lance, we can we can finally get to yours after three years. Mine is actually uh Isaiah too. Oh shit. For Thank the you. exact same reasons. Oh, okay. Okay. Because Thank you. because easy bake schedule. Yeah, basically. Oh fuck you guys. <laughs> but that's true. That is true. I, I mean, mean I've got the Iowa Hawkeye schedule. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, I don't know I don't know how Lance got this like beautiful schedule that he has to go against. I mean oh. mine's mine's not that bad. And I mean I get I get kind of rewarded for um for having a tough schedule with having a bye in week nine. Um I feel like the only person that has a harder schedule than me are Andy and Necro. God, Andy's yeah. just so that, hard. Um, um oh. this is just one thing that we kind of overlooked. Uh one more thing before we get off and before we um go our separate ways. I feel like Necro, we didn't really touch on this, has a very tough schedule. He plays me, he plays DRB, he plays Andy, he plays Isaiah Week 5, which we all said could be in the playoffs, he plays Roshi, he plays Lance, he plays Johnny. Like, his his, his out-of-conference, first of all, he's in the conference that is by far the toughest, I think. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, am no I the only one yeah. that would say that? I think, I, I think he's in the toughest conference and outside of that i feel like he is um he is also uh playing johnny in the out of conference he is playing lance in the out of conference he's playing me in the out of conference and he's playing isaiah who is another potential postseason player in the out of conference right so right. that's so rough right that's so rough the only game out of conference he gets that he should probably win easy bake is w ram and we don't even know him yet we don't know if he's good he could be really good he could be scary good he could yeah i mean he could win that south division to be honest with you he could bop freaking brady out of nowhere yeah, he could um, bop um, johnny i mean yeah oh so for him it's even a toss-up i mean oh it's we have these wild cards in there you know not just for uh the playoff but like these wild cards as in like the people we don't know that could be you know, phenomenal. Like John, uh, what's his name? Jake. 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 Yeah. yeah, Jake could beat Lance. I mean, he could beat Mac. I mean, he could beat you know shiny. He could beat me. He could be. Uh, he so could win the whole division. Pokemon Master. Yeah. Yeah. He could yeah. literally be that good. Uh, yeah. W Ram is the same way. He could be that good. Um, so I mean, it's really gonna be interesting. I can't wait. I cannot wait. <laughs> I'm excited for this. Yeah, I it's, know. It's, let's it's just really skip. Fun. Let's just skip the preseason. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. I am so so excited now. But um, it's already almost to an hour in this video, which I'm okay with because I mean we're only doing it once, and um, I feel like the people that are involved in the league at least will try to watch the whole thing. Um, I know that whenever I put up a long video, I never fail to see that Necro actually watches the entire thing. So <laughs> right. I love you, Necro. I know you've gotten this far in the video. Oh, really Necro's just it. a great person. Yeah, he oh, is. For he sure. is. <laughs> he is. I already said that earlier, but he is. But um, I'm gonna I'm gonna end off the video here. Hopefully, Lance gets a YouTube soon so I can actually like plug him. You can um, plug my Twitter, fam. Yeah. Uh, well, his his his. <laughs> His Twitter will be in the description below, and uh, I will have Mini Munches, aka Isaiah. I will have his YouTube in the description below as well. We're trying to improve the quality on Isaiah's channel so that he can get to the amazing amount of subs that I have, which is mm -hmm. not very many. I mean, but maybe he'll, maybe I'll be an art tuber. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. But uh, all right. Um, I will see you guys next time with our week one predictions for who's going to win week one. I'm excited to do that as well. Um, and remember, uh, go check out all of the other channels in the Indigo League of Legends and go watch all of their battles and stuff. Um, soon we will have a YouTube channel that will have everyone's YouTube in the uh, in the sidebar and we will have a playlist with everyone's videos and it'll be great. It'll be awesome. But thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you guys next time.
Bye. Later. Peace.